Hello there everyone, my name is Overbeam3 and yesterday some more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicle X. On the last episode, well the last episode to be entirely honest was kind of a inconsequential all things considered. I mean, we did do some missions but they really didn't mean a lot in the whole scheme of things and in fact I spent the whole episode talking about story changes, my personal uh, bias towards how the story develops, and so on and so forth. So, today let's actually do something of importance that probably many person would say it's a thing that happens. So, we're gonna go into two peas in a pod. Now, you need three of affinity with Lin to enter this mission and complete chapter 11, um, which is bullshit because. If you've played any type of mission with Lin or Elma, you should already be at full affinity with both of them. If not, then you're already at a minimum of four of affinity. You have so much potential dialogue and uh, dialogue affinity growing between these two that you need to choose the worst paths possible in, dia uh, in dialogue boxes in order for you to not have at least three affinity with both of them. But that is besides the point. Let's go in. Mustache man delivery. <sighs> I am beat. Mind if I relax here a bit? Sure, just don't make it a habit, okay? We can't have the barracks become your day spa. Hey, can't a commander stop by now and then to check on how his favorite team is doing? That's why I'm really here, you know? Mustache man worse liar than even Tatsu. Real reason for visit is for Lindley's cooking. Oh, the dinner roll ain't as dumb as he looks. Why, thank you. Tatsu, I don't think that was a compliment. I'm not sure food helps Mimeo Sums with fatigue, Commander. Comfort food helps everything, man. I just need something to take my mind off this weapon R&D work. It's driving me nuts. Weapon R&D? Can I get in on that, sir? I'd love to help out. All right. I should have figured this would be right up your alley. Up my alley? It is my alley! All right. Let's call it a personal job for me. Frankly, I'd love the advice. Understood. Two peas in a pod. For this mission, we get probably some of the best rewards in the entire game. But that is outside of my control. Well, not outside of my control, but I really shouldn't spoil ourselves too much right now. You'll see when you will see. So let's head to our first objective. Oi, so could you tell me what's- wait, actually, I think we need to talk to someone. Ain't that what it's about? Come on, game. No, I just need to head to the outfitter. Maybe I just need to- ah, there we go. Cool. Is this a backpack beam cannon? Prototype for one, anyway. Ooh. They really crammed the high output ion capacitors in there. Not bad, huh? That baby can go a month without needing a recharge. Huh? That's dumb. You're wasting all its potential. Lynn. No, it's fine. What would you suggest, Lynn? I'd channel that energy into fewer, more powerful bursts. Why the hell would you need more punch than this? Because if you push it up another 800 gigs, it'll cut right through the beam coating on ganglion armor. Sure, but think of the heat something like that would put out. Well, yeah. You just need to change the conductor material for the barrel jacket. The barrel jacket, huh? Interesting. Is all this even feasible? There'd be a few hurdles, sure, but if we can clear those, it could be big. We'll just have to try it out and see, won't we? Yeah! Let's see. I can think of two other problems right off the bat. Why don't we have you sort this out with the engineers here, Alan and Brenna? Talk to them. They might have ideas for a workaround. Yes, sir! This is looking promising as it is. Oh, because we got Alan right off the bat, so let's just talk to him. About the beam cannon project. Is there any way we can push the output up another 800 Gs? I know it's a lot, but if we can manage it, 
I think we could punch through ganglion armor. You want another 800 gigawatts continuous output? Yep. Well, theoretically, sure. But what? There's some kind of practical hurdle? Exactly. More output requires plasma maintained at higher degrees of excitation. That, in turn, requires a more efficient magnetic trap. Ah, uh, right. I'd love to see it happen, but Earth's technology just isn't there yet. We are no longer on Earth, buddy. That's a fair point. It's true that Earth may not have possessed this technology, but Mira could be a different story. I don't follow. Oh, I get it. She means Xenotech. We've got all kinds of races here on Mira. One of them might have a solution. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. What is that? One of the ganglion skills. We confirmed that this model is outfitted with a high output beam cannon, and it's almost a certainty that their capacitors are better than ours. So if we can analyze them... Right. We might be able to find a solution to our magnetic trap problem. Come on, guys. We've got a giant laser to hunt down. And so we shall. Actually, can we talk to Breno first? Did you no. What was it? To but he said to talk to Alan and Breno. Hey, so strange. Just talk to Alan, not Breno? Ah, whatever. We gotta get three Kmoevas capacitor from Kmoevas in Oblivia. Oh, that's fine. Let's go and do that then, shall we? Why can I find Kmoevas? Oh, I know! Oh, 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 I'm gonna have a feel there for this one. It's gonna be revenge time. Hey, guys! Remember me? It's payback time, bitch! <laughs> Oh my god, do you know how good I feel actually taking these guys on in fucking Scout Fortress nonetheless? Oh, it's amazing. Oh, what? You don't, you don't say I'm gonna keep missing now, do you? It's not gonna win well. We're not going that way now, are we? Leaving so soon? Oh my god. You take a taste of my medicine. Son of a bitch, that feels good. Woo! Kill them all! I'm also level 51 and I'm also rank 3 of Psycho Corruptor. But anyhow, what I mean is I finally got everything I need. God damn, let's go back. Okay, Alan. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's right, I gotta. Yeah, that's right. I changed class. Sorry, I was uh, I was a bit confused about my weaponry there. Anyhow, how about you, Alan? Alan, look, we found a capacitor. Amazing. I have to hand it to the Ganglion's engineers. Will this solve our problem? Leave it to me. With a mix of their tech and ours, I may even be able to do this one better. If that's still not enough, Tatsu can loan out secret Nopon technology! Uh, I'll let you know. One problem down, one to go. Actually, Lin, before we go any forward, I gotta change something on you. Cause Elma's got a... got a slight advantage over you. Let me just do that real quick. All right, this outfit seems to fit you a little bit better. That's also a lot of XP boost. Also, in like two episodes, Silica went from level 34 to 44. That is an insane boost. Well, then again, I fought very high level enemies, so I guess it only makes sense that she level up real fast, but still. Uh, Brenna, what were we talking about? Also, you seem to be missing your shirt doesn't cover everything, I don't About get it. About the beam cannon project, is there any way we can push the output up another 800 Gs? I know it's a lot, but if we can manage it, I think we could punch through ganglion armor. <sighs> this is why I hate talking to amateurs. W what? But Commander Vandom said it might be possible if we solved a pair of issues. 
What? So I have to explain it because he's too damn lazy? Hey! It's Brenna, right? We know your time is valuable, but could you maybe stow the attitude for a second? Look, this unit is meant for installation on the back of a scowl, right? Right. Well then, you've got a real bitch of a heat emission problem. I'm just estimating here. But you're probably looking at temperatures of over 400 degrees running from the head to the cockpit block. And that kind of heat will cook your sensors. Oh, and kill the pilot. The back-mounted unit just won't work. And with its size, it's not like you could change the offset position to the arms. Er, uh, unless we use different conductors in the barrel jacket. In that case, the large size would actually work in our favor. Here, I made a sketch. Huh. Yeah, that might actually work. I mean, if we had a conductor efficient enough. But the only ones of this grade are all being used in NLA central power grid. Can't very well tear that apart to make a new gun. I guess not. Maybe. There have to be resources here on Mira we've yet to discover. Who's to say one of those can't be turned into a new conductor? Hey, that's it! We'll just build a new one! And you expect to just miraculously stumble across this hypothetical material today? Maybe not today, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't look. I'm not giving up on this. I'm guessing we gotta talk to the man on some point. Unless we know what the material already is. Oh, okay, three pieces of marine root tile. Okay, well, fuck it. I already got them. <laughs> well, that was easy. Hey, Brenna. Think you can turn this into a conductor? Oh, man, I had 99. Yeah, go go right ahead. <sighs> Dunno. Never seen it before. I'd have to test it, but... Yeah, maybe. I'm just shocked you found something. I can't think of a single blade more passionate or stubborn than Lynn. I can see that. Guess I look like a real fool now, don't I? I think I just lost my sense of wonder at being in this place, you know? Anyway, I was a jerk. Sorry. Alright, problem solved. Let's report back to the commander. Well, I'll be. Didn't think you'd solve both problems that fast. <laughs> You're your parents' daughter for sure. They were both engineering geniuses. But they were beloved by people for their fire and initiative, more than their theories. They were heroes for folks in my generation. Can't help but think how much further along NLA'd be if they were still with us. I'm happy to hear you say that. But that job falls on all of us living here now, Commander. I'm nowhere near their level yet, but I promise I'll keep doing my best. Mission complete. Two peas in a pod. Results due to some quick thinking by Venom, he was able to complete the development of a new weapon. You also caught a glimpse into Lin's past. And our rewards is an SRM USP 140SA Exat Paticon! Woo! And also some files USP, but that. Let's go take a look, and you'll see why I'm a little shit that's excited about everything, shall we? So let's go right ahead and do some shopping! What? I was just out... I was just getting outside! Why do you have the feeling of... Mm, okay, well, yeah, just precisely because of the reputation for strength now, I would ask you to meet my master. And concerning the business proposal of this great nature, you come to the industry. Okay, industrial district by night, that's fine. Until then. So that's like a secret mission or something, right? Oh, fuck you, that's not what I was going to do. I was just going to do some shopping. Oh my god, people these days, right? <laughs> well, whatever. 
Okay, so let's start by doing a little bit of shopping. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a set of Forza equipment. Because I'm at the point where people slowly are getting to level 45. And because of so, they're getting far stronger very fast. Especially when I'm finding high level enemies. So, the more I have, the better and the faster they can actually evolve and catch up to my level without... Making them actually, you know, constantly catch up to mine. The second thing I was gonna do is gonna buy a little bit of scale from because once you get to level 50, you have access to level 50 scale frame, baby. Woo! And currently, I have, I think, I don't remember. I either have like um, a Lila, I think I have a Lila scale, right? Yeah, I'm like 90% sure I actually have a Lila unit. But uh, we can either go for a new Lila unit or something like an Inferno or something on these lines. Because I'm a little bit of a ass hat, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to buy. Oh god damn! You know what? We'll buy Anamu Anamadusias uh, Matstema, and I don't have enough for an Inferno. That's fucking bullshit. Let me just... Let me just sell some shit real quick. I think I just spent 10 minutes just selling shit. But let's also buy an Inferno type, just because I want to. And last, but certainly not least, let's go look at our new files. Now, as you can see, there were files, and... It was weird. I, I gotta be you new, know, I gotta be completely honest. But if you go into develop new weapons, you can build eggs and... Particon series. They are super weapons! Six barrel cannons that pierce through anything, baby. And we also get the Mega Flame Bullet series. Another fucking super weapon! And from now on, we can build the shit out of super weapons. We can also build scale frames if we want to of these two guys, but they're really bad. So let's not do that. And just take a quick look at particle cannons. As you can see, we need... To build them, we need specific materials. <clears throat> For this, we need all-purpose block, DMS metal, a relining tentacle, and Liberius cliff. So, I don't get the all-purpose plug. I think that's from Pudges and Puglif, if I'm not wrong. A really long tentacle, that's from, um, fucking dual gills. And then Liberia's Glyph, I have no idea, and neither do I do for Damask Metal. But if you want to know how to build certain weapons, well, there you go. That's for the Exad Partican Cannons, by the way. Uh, that's a level 30, level 15, level 60, respectively. They're really, 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 really fucking strong. We also got the Mega Flame. Do not have the specific materials for that. You also need more of a capacitor. You need 24 of them. I spent 10 minutes to get a three. You need 24 of them. So, uh, prepare the grinding. That's how you get super weapons, buddy. Prepare to see a lot of fucking grinding. Also, you can get, you know, that's how you develop new gear. You, you just need a shitload of materials. But with that said, we're not done quite yet. I'm gonna go pin myself out. I'll come back in about five minutes. Just give me some time. And you'll see the changes real quick. Oh my god, look at that damage! 57,000! Huh. Well, let me say in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Opening our damage, that'd be amazing, actually. Let's take this baby for a ride.